Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And I am bringing to you today my finished pages for December 2021. <clears throat> so, I have quite a lot of books here compared to what I have had for the last couple of months. So, let's take a look at them. But first of all, Let's do my empties. I got quite a few here, but I don't think there's as many as usual. Still working on using up these odds and ends of Spectrum Noirs. So I've got two, four, I've got five of those. And then my Ohuhus, and all of these I have backup copies of. So that's two, four, six, eight Ohuhus. Now I've got two of the markers that make things yellow, and a, and a Jofo, oh no, only one, and a Jofo. This is an Artex, and there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Then, let's see, we have some Bix, Bic Intensities, that looks like that's all it is. So, I've got, these are all ultra fines. Got a gray, uh, an orange, a blue, a dark blue, and a hot aqua. Got a black Sharpie, oh, another ultra fine in blue. I think I just have the one black sharpie. I have one shuttle art permanent marker. I have one, two, two pen and gear permanent markers. One Crayola take note permanent marker. And I have two random permanent markers which came in art boxes years ago. So they're both done. Uh, I've got two Crayola Pipsqueaks, got two Faber-Castell markers, got one Color Pep, and I've got one black gel pen. Is that really finished? Oh, you know what? This doesn't work. That was the problem. This one wouldn't work, no matter what. This is just a random water-based marker. And then this is the Spica Glitter Marker Hybrid Dual Metallic in uh, silver, and this just stopped working on me. It's got lots of ink still in there, but it just will not come out. Then I wanted to tell you about this. It's the Clevis Tift 2-in-1 glue stick, and it's a like pump action, and it only worked for me at the beginning. Uh, I opened it up and I used it and it worked great, but the next time I came to use it and the uh, the nib, which is like a pump action thing, it was stuck. It, 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 I could push it in, but then it just like very, very slowly came out again. So it was all stuck together with glue. So do not recommend that. And I have a pencil. It's not too often that I have finished pencils in here. Looks like this is 1067. I can't remember the color name, but it's one of the grays. So yes. Those are my finished markers. So let's get to the books. So this month I spent a lot of time working on my 10 books to finish in 2021. This was one of them and I did these pages this month. Did did those two which I really liked. I th think this was really cute. And the last two pages were this one. This 
This wasn't one of my 10 books to finish, but I did finish it. Did that one. These are random colors, remember? And there are four alcohol markers or permanent markers and one gel pen. Let's see if the, if the gel will... Yeah, you can see it a little bit. This one, I really liked how this one turned out. Good color choices. There, I think you can see it sparkle a little bit. And the very last page in the book was this one, which I don't like how my coloring worked on that one. The colors are okay. And that book is finished. That's Flying Colors, Volume 21, Penny Press Magazine. Then I did this picture out of Cute Christmas by Coloring Book Cafe. And I did this. It has a little bit of metallic marker on it. You can see there. Another PDF. Let's see. So this is from 100 Christmas Scenes. And this is the one I did here. There's no glitter on there except for the speckles on this cupcake. Oh, I'm having hard times picking things up today. I did my first page in Colometrics. Did this one here. This was done in water-based markers. So I like how it turned out. I think I'm going to have fun doing this book. Another coloring book cafe PDF. This one is from Easy Christmas Coloring Book. So I've got some glitter down here and some oh and up there as well so I had fun working in all of uh, coloring book cafe's new Christmas books so I did a PDF out of this one which is out of here. This one is from Christmas Patterns. Yeah, I like this one. So this was a picture. I got the stars are done in glitter. And I did a page in the current mystery colors, the Christmas edition. I did the first page here. That's all I did in it. <laughs> but I'll be working on this until I get the until I get the new. Then I tried messing around with a paint with water book here. This is just called Magic Color by Dolfino. This is the page that I worked on. The illustrations are really cute in here. So I, I had fun doing this um, uh, kind of like wet on wet technique here. And then I outlined everything in crayon, but I wasn't too happy with that. But the pictures are really cute in here, see. Coca Wyo Chibi Girls Christmas. Whoops, it's stuck to something here. Now, got a bit of, let's see if I can get that off. A bit of paper stuck to it. 
Well, see, a little bit of paper. I guess it wasn't 100% dry. Now, what did I use on that? I used, it's one of the uh, Cosmic Shimmer. Let's, why is it not shimmer sh shining for you? Hmm. I don't know. Just doesn't want to. It's really, really shiny though. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with that page. And then we have Color Kicks Merry, Merry Chitty Christmas. Did this one. And again, I've got a different Cosmic Shimmer on this time. I don't know. My lights aren't right. There's something wrong with how my lights set up. I think that's showing. I don't know. Did a page in Easy Christmas by Jade Summer. Did this guy in Alcohol Marker. And then I went over the shaded areas with Crayon. And I enjoyed that. I like how that turned out. Cute Christmas by Jade Summer. You can see I did a lot, I worked in a lot. I, I only worked in my new Christmas books. I love this one. So I did the uh, crayon shading on this one as well. I think this is such a cute picture. Prachi Dewan Slotch Davis Christmas Ceramic Tiles, color by number. This one. I really like this book. I hope she does more of these ceramic tile books. This is the uh, mandala book that I've been working in. I did one picture out of here. Did this one. Random colors again with the one gel pen, which I think you can see. What if I put it over here? Maybe I'm too close. Oh man, I'm just not going to get my glitter to show today. This is a older coloring book from Deborah Muller, not this year's Christmas Magic. Did this. Oh. Oh God. That is, yeah, you can see the glitter here. So I used alcohol marker. Mirandi pens. Where did I use the Mirandi pens? I don't know. Oh, on her tattoo. Uh, Jelly Roll White. Metallic Sharpie. Link Shine gel pens. Gel Extreme Pen Metallic. That was for the blue here. And then Rena K Neon Glitz for the wings. And our, that stuff is awesome. Like, it shines really well. And it's, it's thick and rough. But it doesn't, doesn't um, warp the pages much or anything. So, yeah, I enjoyed using that. I oh, might as well keep that in there. I went to the trouble of, of doing it. Then, this is an older Flying Colors magazine I'm working in. This is volume 13. And I did one page in here. This one. This has, this has two. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, that's got two uh, gel pens in it, that one. This is last year's uh, Coloring Heaven Christmas 1 Cutesy Christmas Special. And this was my Advent Calendar for December. 
colored one of these each day of the month, except for on the 23rd. I did the 23rd and the 24th, so I finished it off a day early. And I used polychromos only on this page, nothing else, except for I used a white gel pen to outline a couple of things. I can't see where I use it anywhere except for this coffee cup. This is the color Questopia book that I'm working in, Trains. I did one in here. That one. They, these are very strange colored trains. Okay, I've got another coloring book cafe PDF here. I did one out of Christmas Vibes. This one is Joy to the World. So these, all the pictures in this book have um, words on them. An April Amber's Christmas book. I did this one. And let's see. No yellowing. Oops. I ended up using the wrong the wrong color for her face, but it already started, so I just ended up doing her skin that color. Perhaps she's from another planet. Then Chibi Girls, uh, Chibi Christmas, Jade Summer. And my first one up here, and I really, really like this. I love the colors that I chose. These are this was one of my favorite color combinations, and I I liked going off of the traditional colors. That looks like this is clean. I expected it to be. Not all the colors of of uh, do the yellowing when you have the yellowing markers. It's just the. Uh, the ones that have a red base to them, like yellow and red and brown. And then I finished up, I had two two-page spreads left in Ivy and Inky. You'll be, if you look on my channel, you can see the complete flip through of this. I did everything in this book except for the covers. So I did this two-page spread and I used Papermate Flare Bold, Prismacolor Pencils, Arteza fine, fine Liners and Stettler Tri Plus and Pentel Dual Metallic Gold. I don't know if we can get the gold to shine. Yeah, there we go. And on the door. So I did that one. Let's just keep that in there. And I didn't write anything on this one. Just used... Uh, Prismas by the looks of it. Oh, a little bit of white gel pen. Yeah, and that's it. So I really enjoyed doing those last two in there. Another one of my ten books to finish that I finished off. I did this page. It's got a little bit of Pentel gold on it there. Just alcohol markers, these pictures. And that was the last page in the book and then we had this pumpkin page. So, that book is finished. It's Fall Y'all by Tabitha L. Barnett. That was a lot of fun to work in. And my such and such Deva book that I'm working in currently, Mosaic Art Vintage Cars. Did this one. Finished this one last night, actually. Today's the 1st of January. I finished it last night. Oh no, the night before on the 30th. When I was doing my um, 
I was filming a recent coloring, uh, complete coloring book collection video, and I found out that this one had a whip in it, so I kept it out and I did it. I did this. This had two of the X's in the middle colored in with blue gel pen, and, uh, that's all that was done, so I was able to cover up that, that and this was my color palette. I like how that turned out. And I just got, I could, I was just in a mood where every single book that I picked up, I was like, oh no, no, no. I wanted to color, but it, <laughs> like, I didn't want to color anything that I looked at. And, and I pulled out other mandala books, but then I got this one out and I went, yeah, this is what I want to do. So this is the one I did. And it took quite a while <laughs> to do. These are randomly chosen colors, so it's uh, may, maybe a little bit of an odd color scheme, but I don't think it looks bad. This is a heavy book. Then we have Demita Victoria's Jolly Winter. And I did this elf looking at the naughty list. Here's some, some sparkle on the snow and his, and his pom-pom. I don't know if that's really showing. just had this book out because uh, I saw that it was so close to being almost finished that I thought I would just work in it the next few months. Beautiful color by numbers. My Lilt Kids. Get that one. And this one. There's not many to go and it's it's a thin book so shouldn't have any problems working on that. This was a new book that came this month. Uh, Mystery Mosaics Wow Cartoons. This is uh, from Belba Family. They sent it to me, and these are the two that I did. I just opened the book up randomly to a page. I was really glad this was the first one I did because I like the Flintstones. And then this one. You don't really like how the background turned out, but there's no way I was going to color all that in. And my X method is pretty crummy. And I had three... I had two browns of this color that ran out on me, and then I couldn't find one the same, so I had to go with a bit darker over here to finish it up. So, yeah, it didn't work out how I planned. When I'm bored and I can't think of anything else to do, I've been working in this book for the last few months. I just randomly pick some colors and work away. Look at that one. This one's pretty boring. And this one was pretty boring too. <laughs> so those are what I did. And the very last book that I worked in was I finished off the base. Uh, I did the base of this page for my um, for my uh, mystery art box that I did uh, November and then this month I finished off the page. So, don't know how well all the detail shows up on there but I did a lot of work on here with white gel pen and, well, actually with a white Posca, a white Prisma, um, I used some uh, Prisma colors to color things in. And of course, if you watch the video, the background is done in uh, blow, blow pens and acrylic paint at the top. So I did a little bit of... Um, blending, not not sort of blending into each other, but kind of blending out so that it kind of made the the colors go into each other. I don't know how well that worked, but I like how it turned out. So yeah, I'm quite 
always uh, happy and pleased when I do a Kirby page because I haven't done very many of them. Like maybe two. <laughs> so that's it guys. That is everything that I colored in the month of December. I'm happy that I got out all those Christmas pages. So we won't be seeing those again until June, most likely. Sorry, July. I This year I didn't do Christmas in July, but uh, I'm planning on participating in it in 22. So thank you so much for watching and allowing me to share my pictures with you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed yourself and once again, thank you for watching and until next time, bye!